What's happening, my film nerds? David the Film Junkie here. All right, guys, we need to relax. We need to calm down and everything. And, uh, well, we actually need to open up articles and read them and not read the misleading title posts that some of these that some of these websites do. You know, I mean, I understand you want to put a post where people are intrigued and want to click on your on your uh, on your article. So then they open up, you know, and everything. It's all about, you know, the views and stuff and getting your website. I get it. I get it. But a lot of people aren't doing that. And a lot of people don't do that these days. They just look at, her, at their Twitter feed, look at some, you know, titles. And they're seeing stuff like this. After Batman vs. Superman let down, studio plans to release fewer movies. And I've seen this many times. As you can see, the person who posted this on the top here said, Sad, less DC films coming out then. And I've had other people go, What the fuck? Are you kidding me? First off, Batman vs. Superman wasn't that much of a letdown, okay? Yes, it was a letdown. But it wasn't huge, okay? It's still cleaning house it's still making a lot of money maybe not as much as they'd hoped but what they are doing yes they are releasing fewer films fewer normal films okay not dc films normal films that's right they're gonna stop they're not gonna put out as many just original films i guess you say which a lot of people obviously want but they're gonna focus mainly on their franchises they have like the new harry potter franchise the lego franchise and the dc franchise i mean i did a video yesterday where they added two more release dates with with uh just slots they have untitled projects there which Everybody's really thinking, and me too, is thinking one of them's for the Batman Solo movie, and the other one could be either for Man of Steel 2 or Suicide Squad 2. Who knows? Um, but yes, I keep seeing this everywhere, and people are just totally, totally misinterpreting what this is. Warner Brothers is not taking away any of the DCEU at all, and uh, they're just going to stop. They're not going to make... They're not going to make as many normal movies, and they're going to focus, because obviously they need a little more focus on their big franchises to make sure that they are taking, you know, critical success, at least mainly more positive critical success, I guess you could say. So there you go, guys. I just wanted to get that out there because it's just, I, I mean, I know blogs like to capitalize on this shit, and sometimes you get those the people that really hated the movie really wanting to shit on it more and stuff, so just it relax. No, there's we got two more movies that are coming we got like 10 movies coming from the dceu okay probably more than that i think it's more now 11 maybe i don't know but don't worry about it nothing's happening to it it's still going on and uh apparently what i heard too is that possibly they're bringing someone to overlook and they're probably bringing in some of their head writers to be like all right let's let's look at all this you know especially the justice league movies and like okay let's let's make sure that this is not going to be a confusing jumbled mess you know, and everything, so we'll see what happens, so we could all relax, we're fine, the DCEU is still fine, still intact, everything's still good. Let me know your thoughts about this down below in the balls area, I'll talk to you guys later. And thank you for watching, you beautiful people, you go ahead and hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, subscribe to my other channel too, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and visit filmjunkie.com for all my videos.